hey beautiful lovers I really mean, welcome back to my channel it actually feels good to be back after nine months of assignment <laughs> if i'm popping up on your timeline for the first time this is ceo zarina beauty home so this channel will talk about cosmetic formulation beauty and general lifestyle and we also do reviews on regular available products in the market today i'm going to be doing an expose on a particular product called fair and white in this video i'll be telling you what you need to know about this product what you should avoid while using this product what you must do while using this product where you should get this product so at least your reviews can be fair to the general public and also help you understand how to read your product label in the end of this video i'll be telling you a trick about this brand that i'll find out on my own please don't tell anyone all right let's dive right into the today's let's dive let's dive right into um this the topic for the day Fair and White. Who made Fair and White? Fair and White is made by Mitchell Brand Cosmetic. It's a brand based in the United States, and they have their laboratory in two other countries called, uh, uh, in two other countries, namely Switzerland and France. So if you're getting this product and it says it's been manufactured somewhere else, please run. All right. Now let's dive right into the composition of this product. We'll come to the trick, where to get them, and what you shouldn't do while using this product. Now, this product, so white, fair and white, says it contains aqua, mineral oil, hydroxyphenone, which is the hydroquinone or the ricetinone family, glycerin, glycerin, which is the humectant, the steroid is, is an emulsifier. The we have perfume here, which is the fragrance steric acid, which is also a co emulsifier, the cetyl alcohol, and it says it contains um cyclopentaxloxane, dermaticon. These two are actually silicone oils, and um, they, they are an occlusive that helps to seal in moisture um, in the skin. We also it also has carboma which is a cross polymer here it also helps in hydration and uh the sodium edta which is your, um, your the chelator that helps to um, combat any metallic anions that could be present in this um, product tretanomine here i believe is what they use to um, adjust the ph of this product and here is the metal paraben propylene paraben these two are preservative then here we have sodium metabosulfate, sodium sulfate, which is an antioxidant to help prevent this um, phenol from oxidizing. And the last one here, which is C, I don't know if this is CI45430, which I believe is um, the color that is used. Now, if you're buying any products from the market, the first five, six ingredients tells you the functionality of that product. If it's, if it's anti-aging, moisturizer, um, if it's, it's just a hydrating lotion, if it's a lightening or brightening lotion, the first five to six ingredients tells you that. And here you can see that hydroxyphenone is the third ingredient on the list. So this is a lightening product. Now, the trick about this particular brand is they have fair and white, the blue, fair and white gold. They have um, fair and white, so white. And it's only this so white that they've actually listed everything that it contains in others they'll just tell you the key ingredients so what I'm, what what is the trick about this brand that i feel i feel their major ingredient in all of this product is hydroquinone and the only thing that they've successfully done is to interchange probably the lipids the kind of humectant and the antioxidants that is present in all the products okay now where can you get this product according to the manufacturer it, you, you can get this product on amazon walmart and um, fairandwhite.com at least so when you get this product from them and you use it you can actually give you a honest review about how you feel of the product but if you get it from other other suppliers or in the market be sure that those people are getting right for they're getting this product right from their company if they are not please run now let's talk about the the feel and the viscosity of this product it actually feels friendly on the skin and the viscous is lovely it has it has a silky finish 
and I believe it's because of the um, the cyclopentaxiloxane and the dermatocone that is added it gives you a luxury feel and it gives a vanishing effect when you rub it on your skin it doesn't leave any kind of soapy effect on the skin and that's the choice of the silicone that they used in making this product now what you should do now when using hydroquinone this commentation is very important it's important for you to get an exfoliant at least do it two to three, two times a week and give three days in between the first day of your scrub or body polish and repeat after three days and on and on and on and you want to get a product that you can use to swap the hydroquinone if you had to see the video where i talked about Cairo White having 2% hydroquinone what you need to do and what you're not we're not supposed to do you want to go watch that video that will give you a brighter um, overview of hydroquinone itself All right. and while using hydroquinone you're also supposed to use an spf during the day avoid the sun otherwise it's it's it will leave you with dark spots that you will start treating in case you hear some noise <laughs> at the background it's my baby here <laughs> supporting me <laughs> while i'm filming this video all right so he's talking in the background and it's fine all right so let's look at this products generally does it lighten the skin yes is the skin lightening because it contains hydroquinone is it hydrating on the skin yes it's quite hydrating and the silkiness it's lovely based on the composition of what they used um what else are we supposed to talk about here where to get them amazon um amazon walmart and fairandwhite.com so that at least your review can be fair to the public all right if you're getting this product from any other any other seller try to get useful information from them where they got their products if they are, if they got it directly from the company then i have no problem you can go ahead and use them i talked about the trick about this particular product um having different um different range the blue the gold and i think uh, and this is so white and they also have another product called light up in that line light up with that line also did not state um all the composition and this is why i feel this um, brand it's kind of um, tricky they practically work with one major active which is hydroquinone if you ask me okay that's all about this product. This is all I know about this particular product and brand. Let's know if, I've, if you've actually used this product before in the past. Tell us your honest review. If it's positive or negative, let us know in the comment section. Do well to follow us on um, Instagram and uh, Facebook. It's Zarina Build Home just as on YouTube. And also share and like my video if you've watched to this end and you're yet to subscribe. Please do so. And... Um, give us a huge thumbs up okay that's the only way you can support your girl and encourage me to do more video in my next video i'm going to be talking about product range the reason why some products have range that come with it they have oil serums and um, tubes that come with it okay and i'll be telling you how you can actually incorporate all these things into your products to make it more effective this this video that i'll be dropping next after this is going to be very beneficial to those people who are into pro mixing proper i'm going to be shaking a lot of tables and <laughs> it is fine let's shake it if it's broken in the end we'll find somewhere on how to fix it okay also like come your way again i remain your favorite girls arena keep that glow pumping and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys <laughs>